Let's help Trinidad and Tobago celebrate 47 years of being a republic. Here are 10 more mini stories of Trinbago triumphs. And if you like this, we're going to make it a series. What do you say? And before you become a keyboard warrior, let me learn you something. I'm fully aware of all the problems that Trinidad and Tobago may have as a country, but I know what we're talking about here. These stories are examples of what we as Trinbagonians can achieve at home or abroad when we commit to it. And lastly, none of these Trinbago triumphs are racially motivated. If you see somebody that you feel should be included, let me know about them in the comments now. Bye! My name is Devon Adana and I have been gifted the talent of storytelling. If you want to hear tales of Caribbean courage, meet the heroes and heroines of the Caribbean diaspora and be exposed to Caribbean wisdom through our many proverbs and sayings, then let me welcome you to the Devon Adana experience. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more Caribbean storytelling content just like this. Guru, we could start now? Now, what do you call the President of the UN General Assembly's 78th session? Well, you could call him His Excellency, but he's also a Trinbagonian. This is Dennis Francis, and he was elected as President of the UN General Assembly's 78th session on June 1st, 2023. But he started his term on September 5th. Now, the General Assembly is the main deliberative and policy-making organ of the UN. And as President, Mr. Francis will be the presiding officer of the UNGA's meetings. Hear his words from his inaugural speech. Despite the many and complex challenges we face, mm -hmm. we do have the capacity to effect change, mm. consequential change. We can make a meaningful difference to the lives of billions of people. So let us step up and take action now. Let us re-energize the UN General Assembly and demonstrate our capacity and our will to deliver for all. Turn 18 and you win your country's first 200 meter freestyle gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. Then, like a month later, you head to Tennessee State to pick up your studies and to work on your swimming craft. And then, like a month after getting to Tennessee, you go ahead and win the World Championships, Junior World Championships 200 meter freestyle. Who we talking about? Nikolai Blackman, huh? the boy young, the boy intelligent, and he's a fast fish in the water. Check this out. Now, Nia Long is a critically acclaimed and celebrated actress of modern day black cinema. She made us fall in love with her as Lisa, Will Smith's love interest on The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. But did you know that Nia's grandparents, Pearl Gittens and Clyde Gilman, are from Trinidad and Tobago? And Nia's mom, Talita, is a Trinbago trailblazer herself. She was one of the very first African-American graphic artists at CBS. So you move from Trinidad and Tobago to New York as a small child. And as a young adult coming of age in the 70s, you go to a Knicks basketball game. One of the basketball players lock eyes with you in the crowd. And is dead goatee. You smitten, he smitten, all you're just loving while you're seeing. After the game, a mutual friend introduces you all, and next thing you know, you're married and have four pick me for the man. So remember, this man is a basketball player, so all you're living a nomadic life. All you're moving from city to city, country to country, all around the place with this basketball, and then he becomes a coach. All you're settling in Arizona, but this man job just taking him away from the family, and all you spend less and less time together, and after a while, of course, all you call it quits and decide to have a divorce. But you're a trainee woman, so of course you're doing what you have to do to make sure your children thrive. So you see, like, one of them have real potential with the basketball, so you're real pushy, eh? You instill an athletic work ethic in him, like no other. He might have get the talent from his papa, but it's you gonna make sure he stick to this thing and make something I said. Now, this is the story of Mike Bibby. He was the second wrong draft pick in the 1998 NBA draft. He's a retired basketball player and coach, and he has done uniforms for the Vancouver Grizzly, the Sacramento King, Atlanta Hawks, Washington Wizards, and New York Knicks. And yes, he mama from Trinidad and Tobago. Now, tell me if this is not the most Trinbago thing you ever hear in your life. You hop on a banana boat in Trinidad. And you jump off when it reach the coast of Florida. You swim into Tampa. And then you start to make a life for yourself. You realize that you're making money, rolling cigars and them kind of thing. So what you do? Now go back to Trinidad. Hop on another banana boat with your papa this time. And boat all you jump off in the same place? Well, that is the story of Maya Angelou's grandfather and great-grandfather. Oh, you didn't know that this American memorist, author, poet, and civil rights activist had Trinbago roots? 
and she mama Vivian Baxter, who was the daughter of one of them same man who jumped off the boat. Well, she wasn't easy. She self, you know. She was the first female merchant marine out of San Francisco Bay. They used to call she Mother of the Sea. Actress Jackie Henry's mother, Flossie, is straight out of Trinidad and Tobago. And though she was able to celebrate with her daughter when she got the role of the sultry next door neighbor Sandra Clark on the groundbreaking series 227, Flossie died without ever seeing an episode of the show. And it was also before her daughter would become the first African-American to win an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. So in 1986, you go to Great Britain to represent your country at Miss World. You meet a chick there. All you kind of look alike, all you have similar interests, and all you really hit it off. I mean, truth be told, you're just kind of excited to meet the other black contestants. And here's Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Giselle LaRoque. So you end up winning the competition. The next girl that kind of look like you, well, she comes six. Now, one of the perks of winning Miss World is that you are offered movie contracts. But you from the Caribbean, so you is serious about your education. So you turn down the movie contract because you want to really focus on this scholarship to a top UK university that is also part of the winning package. But not before you ask the Miss World organization to have your friend, the one who came six, travel with you around the world as you reign as Miss World. And you even ask them if she could get the movie contracts. And because it's the 80s and anything goes, the Miss World organization says yes. Well, that must mean that your name is Giselle LaRonde, first Miss World of Trinidad and Tobago. So then, who is the other girl? None other than Halle Berry, who would go on to be the first black woman to win an Academy Award for Best Lead Actress. That crazy, eh? Now, I show 38.25 million Canadians know this man. Trinbegonian Canadian Ian Hanuman Singh has been with the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation for 37 years. He is a television journalist who has won the Canadian Screen Award, which is similar to the Emmys, for Best National News Anchor. So as a young kid, you love telling stories. You're at the mall randomly in your native New York and an agent comes up to you asking you to audition. Your parents are kind of meh about the idea, but they let you audition. Next thing you know, you out in California playing some girl named Ashley Banks on the Fresh Prince of Belly. I mean, you literally grew up in front of the audience's eyes. You started at 11 and was almost 16 by the time the show wraps up. You love acting and singing, but you decide to pursue your education next. You get a degree in African-American studies and government from Harvard. And when you're done, your indo trinbegonian father is like, so what next? Law school? I mean, every Caribbean father would have asked this. But you say, no, sir. I'm a singer. I'm an actress. This is what I love. And this is what I'm going to pursue. This is the story of Tatiana. And her Trinbago roots are from her dad, Sheriff Ali, a retired police officer. Wait, a retired cop named Sheriff? Well, look thing. Hey, I want to bring you more stories of Caribbean courage. But in order to do that, I need to know where you're from. So comment your country or your flag and look out for a story of Caribbean courage from your island real soon. And you might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this with a Caribbean person you know. Ah, now, back to his story. Now tell me, all you know this fella? Kid them. Kid them. Kid them, Carlton. Kid them. Alfonso Ribeiro is another Fresh Prince alum. Wait. Like that show they only hire people from Trinidad and Tobago, or what? He played Will Smith's snooty, sheltered, and conservative-leaning cousin, Carlton Banks. Now, Alfonso family have real talent. Alfonso grandfather was a popular Calypsonian named Albert Ribeiro. And you can listen to one of his songs on YouTube right now. And did you know that Alfonso was the first person ever to tap dance on a high wire? Now, this part of a trigger warning for child abuse. As Caribbean people, we don't discuss enough how some of these achievements that we're able to make at home and in the diaspora come at a heavy cost. So you're the second of six children. Your father migrated to England, eventually sending for your mother and your two youngest siblings. You and the remaining three older siblings are left in the care of family friends in Trinidad and Tobago. But you and your siblings suffer great abuse at the hands of these people. And when you try to write your parents about it, your letters are censored. So they have absolutely no clue what is going on with you and your other siblings. But you persevere and reunite with your parents at the age of 10 in England. You get to the mother country and it's discrimination like that in your neighborhood, in your school. Windrush is me. I'm part of that Windrush generation. I came to Britain when I was 10 from Trinidad. When I was a little girl in Trinidad, I stood in the playground and sang God Save the Queen. I was told I was part of the motherland. I was British, but when I came here, it wasn't like that. 
But my parents told me to have confidence in who I am. Education was my passport to life, to go to school and learn. And I believed in myself. That was Lady Floella Benjamin, a Trinidadian-born British actress, singer, presenter, author, and politician. She's best known across Britain as the presenter of children's programs such as Play School, Play Away, and Jamboree. 